Taya Jaya, applause for her resilience and poetry this time. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ty Adaya. I'm the founder and CEO of Habit, and I actually wanted to start off by asking everyone in the audience a question. Who here cares about their skin? Raise your hand if you care about having good skin, if you care about preventing skin aging, if you want to look good. Should be everyone in the room. If not, we should talk, you should care. Um, and follow-up question, who here today is wearing sunscreen? Who put on sunscreen this morning? It's pretty good, more than I expected. Most people don't wear sunscreen daily, and I sort of have it because I noticed a gap between the people who care about their skin and people that actually wear sunscreen daily. In the United States, it's particularly bad. Only 10% of Americans wear sunscreen daily, and that's really low, unfortunately. So let me back up and introduce myself. I'm Ty, I'm from Texas, I went to Stanford, and prior to starting Habit, I worked in consumer marketing across healthcare, beauty, and wellness. I am half Mexican and half Indian, and I never wore sunscreen growing up. It was never mentioned in my household. No one taught me about sunscreen. In fact, I would go to the beach and not wear sunscreen because I tend to tan and not burn. And this is a pretty common uh, pattern in brown and black households who don't get taught to wear sunscreen. At the same time, I am the type of consumer who cares about preventing skin aging. I remember talking about preventative Botox with my friends in college when we were 19, so teenagers, and it's getting even worse. <laughs> so I, when I started to really invest into preventing skin aging and really understanding the skincare market, I noticed that a lot of it was broken and backwards. So whether it's Photoshop that's creating unrealistic beauty standards, products that have inactive ingredients but claim to be anti-aging, like I faced uh, Botox being marketed to teenagers and younger, which is really problematic, or celebrities hawking magical potions um, and making big claims. This $150 billion industry is really broken and backwards and um, really consists of things that largely don't work. Everyone at some point in their lives is gonna get anxious about aging. This problem particularly affects women. And um, there is something that actually works. And that's sunscreen. We now know that 90% of external skin aging is due to exposure to UVA. And this is the tiny bits that you're getting daily. So commuting to work, sitting by a window, walking out to lunch. That exposure that you're getting to UV on a daily basis over your lifetime is cumulative and more, more damage than you're getting on your beach and vacation days. Sunscreen 1.0, so think the copper tones and Hawaiian tropics and banana boats of the world, was designed for those beach days. So um, it really has not evolved past that beach and sunburn narrative. And those are big problems. Skin cancer is a big problem, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. I believe, and what I believe is an important mission, is really expanding this category to include everyone. So that $150 billion industry largely consists of things that don't work. Sun care is relatively small, 10 billion globally, 2 billion within the US. Um, and just like for reference, to treat preventable skin cancers in the United States, it costs our US healthcare system $3 billion. So sunscreen's really tiny. Um, but yeah, to I, I believe that these bubbles are gonna flip. So um, in the future, if people want things that work, they're going to look to things like sunscreen. Um, I truly believe the future of skincare is active healthcare products like sunscreen. And to get the next generation of consumer wearing sunscreen, the category needs to look different. So if we think about a traditional sunscreen wear, they typically are someone who's white and was worried about that skin cancer and sunburn narrative, the next generation of consumers is gonna to come to the category for skin health and anti-aging. That consumer is a big beauty spender, she's a shade of brown, she's someone that looks like me, um, and that is the future of the category and how we really blow this category up past that um, two billion mark in the United States. So 
So say hello to habit. I started this brand because I do want to build that next generation sun care brand for this next generation consumer. When I'm thinking about how to design for this next generation consumer, I really think of three things. So how do we innovate sun care to bring new consumers to the category and get them to consider the category differently? How can I design something that consumers actually want to use, so something they think of as a treat and not a chore? And how do we change the narrative around SPF to really include anti-aging and skin health? So moving past those copper tones of the world. We launched in June 2020 with our first product, our number 41 mister. This is an SPF 41 mist. It has a floral botanic scent. If you're interested in trying, find me after. Um, so we launched in 2020 and had great reception to our product. What makes our product different is that you can easily apply. This is an aspirational product, so really changing the way consumers perceive sunscreen. You can apply without rubbing the product in. It's an ultra fine mist, which enables our consumers to use our product over makeup, which they really love. We've had a really great response to this product thus far and have two variants on, on our ultra fine mist, our number 38 cucumber mister and our number 39 white peach and neroli mister. Our products are available at habitskin.co and at Sephora. Um, and these are just some quick metrics for us. What I'm most proud about is that our consumer base is actually pretty young. Our average age of our, our customers is millennial. Sunscreen is more effective the younger you start, and so I'm super proud that a lot of young people are starting to incorporate sunscreen into their daily health routine and excited to develop more products um, to really meet this new consumer base. So I'm currently raising a million dollar round to develop new products to really build on our vision to get everyone wearing sunscreen and to expand and strengthen our retail relationships. So yeah, you can find us at Habit Skin on social. Please give me a follow. And if you're interested in joining our mission to really reshape and reimagine the sun care category, please find me after. Thank you.